everybody, welcome back. My name is Lauren and I'm here to do some Bad Moon Rising with you guys by CCR. So uh, what you can do is go to my website, laurenbaven.com. I'll put a link below the video to the chord chart. This way you can go print that out, come back here and have all your chords and lyrics so that you can follow along with me. Now, looking at this chord chart, the great thing about this song is it's only three chords and they're pretty repetitive, so that's fantastic. So we have a D chord, an A chord, and a G chord. And the majority, I would say 50%, maybe even more, 60% of this song is played on a D chord, which is great, uh, unless you hate the D chord, <laughs> which is also great because it gives you practice on working on the D chord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the intro and the verse, um, but before we get into that, let's talk about the strumming patterns that you can use. Obviously the simplest strumming pattern is always to do just four downs. Now. Most of our chords are full measure, meaning we would do four downs per chord. So if you look at our first chord in the song, which is D, it would be one, two, three, four. If you want to spice it up a little bit, you can do one, two, three, four, and you can throw a little up strum on the end. One, two, three, four, and. That's one simple way to do it. Another way to do it is to do a slightly more syncopated um, where we're not going to be doing a down on one of the strums. So you can either do the full syncopation, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It's a very popular strumming pattern. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. Or if you want to make it sound a little bit more like the song, just skip the, sec the first step, okay? So it'll be one, two, three, and four, and uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and. Kind of gives you a little bit more of that push, like the original song has. So again, that's one, two, three, and four, and one. as if the three is there but I don't hit anything that's the secret to that and that'll give you more of that feel that's it down 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 so as you heard I'm just doing downs on the A and G one two they split a measure, so each chord is two beats. So if we look at this chord progression, we have a D chord, which is a full measure. One, two, three, four, and then we have A, A, then G, and then back to D's. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. And that's pretty much the strumming pattern for this song, and we'll use it throughout. So if I just show you how that sounds like again, using the simplified one. Um. That's the simplified one with a strum on every beat, the syncopated version. of the song. Now remember it's CCR so they probably have another guitarist doing some other cool things too um, but the whole goal of this is to try and simplify things or give you guys a version that you can probably play along with. So that is our intro in our verse. So we have D followed by a half measure of A, half measure of G, and then two measures of D. The chorus everything is full measures. We have two measures of G, two measures of D, a measure of A, and two um, a measure of G and a measure of D. So that's two G's, two D's, an A, G, and D. That's our chord progression for the chorus. And we don't have to change the strumming pattern. We can just keep using our same ones. And if you also, maybe you're hearing this and you're like, what is she doing to make that sound so cool? I'm accenting the second beat. I'm kind of making that ring out more. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, so I kind of 
giving that second beat a little mm. So, uh, don't burn tonight. That second beat, I'm letting it ring out. I'm kind of mm, digging in just a little bit more on that one to give it a little spice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through intro, verse, chorus, just so you guys can hear it. I'm going to use that slightly more syncopated strumming since it sounds a little more like the song. If you can't do that, don't worry. Even if you can only do one strum per chord, that's fine. So we have the intro. Here we go. One, two, three, four. CCR, super simple song, is a little peppy, so your chord changes do have to be up to speed. If your chord changes aren't up to speed, that's all right, just simplify the strumming. That's the whole goal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This is a super easy song that we can learn how to play, and I will see you in the next video lesson.